Welcome to this demo, Transformations, uh, Bringing in New Energy. So this is about taking an old canvas that has an existing painting on it and painting over it with something new through a different time period maybe in your life or uh, maybe there's um, some time, significant time in between when you painted the first one, just as a way to bring in some new energy and reuse a canvas. So there I go with the first smear <laughs> over the portrait. It's always a little bit scary. And I kind of actually liked how it looked with this on it, which did kind of influence what I did next with the, with the painting that I added on top of this. So I liked this painting, um, but I didn't really, really like it, or I didn't have a real strong connection with it. So when I feel that way, uh, I feel like it's kind of, Help, I feel a bit stuck um, when I have piles of paintings around that I don't really love or just are not serving a purpose or um, taking up space. So this is a way to reuse uh, and find some new energy uh, with uh, our space and our creativity. So this was on a wood cradle board. Uh, which is really easy to reuse. Uh, paper is a little bit harder sometimes. The more layers we get on it, it can get a little bit wrinkled. Um, but this is one of the reasons why I like to use uh, wood canvas, um, wood cradle boards to paint on. And, uh, and then I get to bring new life to it. So I wanted a little bit of the, the other, the, the painting that I'm covering over to kind of peek through. Uh, on the canvas uh, to maintain some of the story and some of the energy of that piece itself. Uh, I have a few uh, canvases that I've painted over several paintings on and uh, I've got this one canvas in particular it's quite large I normally paint kind of this size and I've had four paintings on it and I still feel like the one that's on there isn't one that I completely love so I probably will paint over it. Um, and I just think that each time you do that, there's a bit of the story of each painting uh, that was underneath as a part of the next one. So I'm just drawing on the face here. I love painting or uh, drawing and painting Frida Kahlo. Um, and my intention is not to have the painting look like her, but just be inspired by her beautiful face uh, and also follow some of the shadows and highlights uh, in the picture to kind of guide me. Uh, so I'm just, I started with a nose, which for me is the, the easiest place to start on the face because uh, you can uh, find all the other features um, from it. Um, and then I usually go up from the corner of the nostrils and start um, the eye. And this is front facing portrait. So um, both eyes will be the same width with about roughly one eye width in between those two eyes. Um, and then putting her eyebrows on a little bit of an arch, uh, going up, upwards and then downwards helps create that illusion, uh, in the, the face that it's, um, three dimensional. I'm also using my non-dominant hand, um, uh, which I like to do when I want to paint something a little more freely, a little less uh, worried about perfectionism and being tight. Uh, and so uh, I'm using my non-dominant hand, which um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that that's one of the ways that I love to start a portrait. Um, and I will most of the time switch over to my dominant hand um, after I've got kind of the first, um, first layer down. Um, and I find my non-dominant hand is re really good at spatial awareness compared to my dominant one as well, even if, uh, things are a little bit wobbly and, um, uh, so, yeah, I guess just a little bit wobbly, but it will, um, create a really expressive face, uh, using your non-dominant hand. Of course, I got a little bit of skill happening with my non-dominant hand because I do it so often, but uh, it is a really fun way to kind of break free from our inner critic.
Now that I've got her sketched on, um, I'm using a couple of my favorite colors to use Payne's Gray and Burnt Umber with a titanium white. And I'm just using a, a, a thin filbert brush starting with her, her features. You can see on the reference photo, I took a white gel pen and I traced around all the shadows and highlights. That helps me see um, what I'm painting in terms of uh, the dark midtones and light tones, the highlights, and uh, because it, we, again, our brain can kind of trick us into what we think is there. So basically you're just looking for the shapes uh, of these shadows and these highlights. And um, I ended up uh, not blending too much. Uh, often this is like my first layer on a face and then I'll go in with a, a second and third layer uh, where I blend more. In the first layer I usually just create a bit of a map. Uh, but I, I also just kind of like the look uh, of these um, of the face with this um, first layer. So I decided to, to kind of leave it uh, that way rather than go in more blended. So this whole piece just ended up being much looser uh, style than the first one that I had on there, which was quite uh, blended. Um, and in a way, <clears throat> it created a really strong face um, because they didn't have um, that refined kind of blending and uh, a very kind of stylized and expressive face. So um, neither portrait is better than the other. It just... Um, it was just a different mood, a different time frame. There's maybe about over a, about a year in between painting the last one and this one. And, um, you know, depending on my mood, I may paint quite differently on a day. And uh, my main goal was just to, just to have fun and um, see what might uh, emerge from this painting.
So I like the look of the palette knife uh, over the original painting when I started to cover it over. So I decided to bring that element into this painting. So I've brought out my palette knife again and I'm going to bring in a bit of darks kind of on the right side uh, with a little more lights on the left. And my main goal was um, with this painting just to explore darks and lights um, and just to have fun. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching me transform this um, canvas from the older painting to this new one and uh, would love to see if, if you uh, do the same, some befores and afters. And again, thanks for joining me.